Greetings all 2,469 members of the Get Right Gang and the 40% who haven't hit the subscribe button yet. My name is Jamal and welcome to day 22 and I've lost 35.8 pounds now. That's a 3.5 pound gain since yesterday. Yes, I gained a few pounds, but don't worry. Yesterday I did have a 2,000 calorie meal and I had a whole bunch of water. So believe me, this is just water weight and I'll probably have another personal best tomorrow. So stay tuned. We're going to hit that 400 pound range this week. I guarantee it. Let's go. What is today's date? It's Thursday, the 25th of January, 2024. All right, we're up three pounds, but it's only water. Don't worry. Let's get right. What is going on guys? Welcome back to Commentary for you. Wanted to do a video about Jamal if you haven't been watching. Well, don't worry about that. We'll, we'll get to that at the end. But, you know, I just wanted to show you the way things were progressing here. I mean, look at the weight loss we've seen from this man. 5, 18, 17, 16, 15, 13, 12, 9, 8. Unbelievable in terms of what he was able to accomplish in just a matter of a couple days. Now, obviously... He went through kind of how this process works. An incredible amount of calories burnt based on not only his size, right? Moving around a 500 pound frame obviously is going to burn more calories, but also setting very strict requirements for what he was going to eat, when he was going to eat, and not just that, but also when he was going to be drinking. I mean, literally, he runs his body almost like a machine, and he can almost sit there and dictate what the results were going to be. Now, obviously, as he was doing this, a lot of people came out with some concerns because, let's be honest, going through five seven-day fasts, while it can be incredible for weight loss, what it isn't is sustainable long-term, right? You're eventually, at some point, going to have to refeed, going to have to rehydrate, and then from there, you're going to see some fluctuations with your body. Now, this is actually something that had already started to happen, and he mentioned a lot in terms of just losing a little bit of weight versus losing a lot of weight. He was fully aware of why this was happening. He was just trying to be consistent in his goals, trying to be determined to make progress and not view anything as a setback because he knew what he was doing, he trusted the process, and he had faith that the results would be there no matter what the scale says. Now, ultimately, that resolve got tested pretty rough this week to the point that some people saw these videos and went to his channel and expressed some concerns that he was, you know, maybe going to have an issue. 506, 513, 512. Now, he has started over the past two days to construct a new weight loss series. He loves to do that four, five, six days in a row. But he was very careful to tell people, don't be concerned about me when you see my weight go up. Don't think that this is going to be something that I view as a negative or something that impacts my motivation or something that's going to cause me to give up because he's not going to do that because he has faith and trust in what he's doing. His process, and he knows in his mind, and I firmly believe as well, he knows his body well enough to be able to regulate things the way he needs to, to see sometimes dramatic, other times maybe a bit more subtle results. And obviously, as he continues to lose weight, this is going to be more and more challenging and more than likely a slower and slower process. You know, moving weight at 500 pounds versus moving weight at 300 pounds is going to provide different results. Now, I want to close this video out with something very, very important to me. And it's the sustainability of his success on his channel. And I want to show you guys something, because this to me is incredible. This is just back the last 10 or so days. I want you to understand that, yes, Girl World did play a part in this. You know, we did go over to his channel and support him. But I want you even more to understand that his views grow every single day. His subscribers grow every single day. And today he will probably be at the point where he is sustaining more views than he had even with the influx of Girl World. What does that mean for him? What does that mean for us? What can we learn from this? We can learn that if you actually set out 
and dedicate yourself. Put in the absolute hard work, because make no mistake, whether he's lost eight pounds or one pound in a week, it's hard work. Mentally, physically, emotionally. He is detaching himself from a large amount of weight in every single one of those capacities. And there's something to be said for that. And I also think that correlates directly to what you're seeing. Because people want to see that. They want to see a success story. They want to hear a success story. They want to see someone reclaim their life. They want to see someone stand up and say, I'm going to take the accountability for the poor condition that I'm in. And with that, I know that I need to take the responsibility to make it right. And that, honestly, is the premise and basis of his channel. And he is sharing an incredible journey with us. And I firmly believe we are privileged to be able to watch the beginning of this journey. Because there is no doubt in my mind, as long as he keeps these videos going, as long as he keeps his system in place, his channel is going to grow beyond anything we can conceive of right now. Outgrow my channel, outgrow other channels in the space, and he's going to do that because he's becoming one of the most relatable people that you can see on this platform. His attitude, his approach, his kindness, his sincerity, his desire to interact with everyone that comes to his page, whether you bring positive reinforcement, criticism, concern, or negativity, he's there for it all. Love to know your guys' thoughts on this. I'm going to leave you with the top comments from the last video, and I'll be back as soon as I can with more content.